Welcome back to Svalbard, everyone. My name is Cecilia, and I live in this cabin with my boyfriend, Christopher, and my dog, Grim. We bought our cabin about three years ago now, and back then it looked very different than it does now. It was teeny tiny. We didn't have a shower, running water, but it was still magical. Last year we built an extension making the cabin twice as big and put in some modern amenities. We still don't have proper running water or plumbing, but a cabin version of it. One year after renovations and living with the new layout, we have noticed some flaws in our thinking and have decided to make some pretty big changes today. Good morning! Har du det bra här ute? Cheers, darling! How are you today, Christopher? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice day. You're wearing a lovely hat. People find it very funny that we like tractor supply. But to us it's exotic. We have realized that this is a very nice morning spot. Because at this time of the day, you have the sun right above this mountain. Because otherwise we have to wait for it to come around the other side. And that will be at like four. So in the morning, this is a good morning spot for coffee. I mean, it's not really morning, is it? It's like 11, 30, but that's morning for me. Today we have grand plans. Today we are making what could be looked at as a huge step backwards in our cabin <laughs> renovations. We are going to switch some rooms up. But first we're gonna drink our coffee and then we're gonna tell you a bit more in depth inside what we're doing today. But this is exciting. Change is here. What is the temperature? I don't know, five, six, six maybe. It feels a little bit cold today. It's a little bit windy. There's also a lot of activity at the airport. Usually we don't hear it. The airport is just like two kilometers that way. And we don't often hear it, but today the wind is in the wrong, like, wrong direction, so we hear everything. Now that there is a SAS strike and we only have two airlines that fly from here, nobody can really get off the island because half of the flights-ish are SAS. So that I feel very bad for people. I'm so happy that we didn't have any flights booked now because that would be very sad. So it's a bit of chaos here now. A lot of people are stranded here. Like a lot of people, because there are no available flights at all in July, I think. Oh, my child. Are you okay? Mm. Look at the folk. See, hide the people. They're in there. Oh, duck. So, yeah. That's the kind of morning hug we need. I love you, my child. Are you having a good day? On this video, I am partnering up with Yours App and have an amazing discount code to share with you guys. Go to yoursapp.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia to save up to 60% of Yours App yearly plan. I've been using Yours App for a couple of months now and really enjoy the easy to follow meditation sessions. I'm trying to prioritize taking a small moment out of my day to just sit and relax and reap the benefits of meditation. 
I sit outside when the weather permits, and for a moment I let the meditation guide me to relax as I take in the incredible nature that we have outside our door. On this session I sat watching the beluga whale swim on by in the fjord. Nature sounds in one ear, yours app in the other. Yours app also offer everything from yoga to meditation, mindfulness and more. Go to yoursapp.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia to save up to 60% of Yours app yearly plan to check out their library of ever-expanding self-care content. I am now ready to first explain what our project for today is, which is going to be exciting. If you've been around for a while, you probably watched the entire cabin build because in the beginning, all the cabin was, was this area. None of what I'm in now or the kitchen existed. So we finished together with the company that built everything. We finished this extension last year in around July, I think. And then we kept, you know, improving everything. What we did was we created a new room right behind here. That was our bedroom or supposed to be our bedroom, which has also been our bedroom. And then we used the old area and kind of made the best out of it because these rooms over here are pretty small. What we also did was we made the old kitchen into my office, which is also what you see here. And I've been using this as my office now for, I mean, a year. And we've realized it's not really working because I kind of block out the whole house when I need to do editing and stuff. Because if I'm sitting in an open room and I need to do voiceovers and things like that, like I have to ask Christopher to like go outside and that's not okay anymore. <laughs> just, it's just too much work and necessary. So what we're gonna do today is see if we can move back into our old bedroom. But before our old bedroom was very small, but we had a lot of furniture in it. So now we're just gonna have only our bed and pretty much nothing else. And that we think might create a good bedroom. Also an issue up here is that since this is two steps higher up than down here, all of the heat in the winter goes to the new area goes straight into the bedroom. So even though we live in the Arctic and you would think that it's cold here in our house, our bedroom is the warmest spot in the house. Neither me or Christopher like a warm bedroom. So our biggest issue in our current bedroom is that it's toasty. It's so hot. So we think, and we're gonna try to move back into our old bedroom, switch all of the rooms around. And that might be the solution. Because first we were thinking, okay, let's just rebuild all the walls here and, you know, do a full renovation. But after thinking about this and trying to plan it for, I think, three months, we still haven't found one single layout that we think would improve, like the situation. And also we need to decide before doing a renovation if we're going to have a kid or not. Because if, we, if we're going to have a child, the child needs somewhere to live. <laughs> and then we would need to kind of get an extra room. So we're not going to make those kind of decisions now. We're just gonna move around the stuff that we have and create a better area with what we've got. Also, what I think is gonna be really nice is to not have the bedroom by the toilet. What I like in a house is that you really have to live in it to understand what you need, which is also why it's so difficult to build a house when you've never built a house, because you have no idea what you actually need. But we, we did the best with what we had and we love everything except those few little things that we think we can change with just moving furniture. So that's what we're gonna do today. That's why I'm wearing gym clothes because it's gonna be sweaty. Might be really fast, we don't know. But first we're gonna look at the rooms, what they're like now. So you know you have a before. Okay, let's do that. Christopher, are you happy? You excited? Good time. Uh, yeah. You're in your shorts? Yeah. Come here, make it on. Come on, get in here. You're so tall! Hi. So this is our current bedroom. Don't mind the mess because since we're moving everything out, I will not be making the bed. I think this is gonna be a way better space for my office and all of my stuff. 
so I can get that out of the other rooms because I just need to be able to close my door. Also, this room will swallow so much more stuff that is currently out in, you know, the open areas. And I just really want to give kind of the house back to Christopher, even though I'm working here. I only want to be working in this room. And that's something that I kind of didn't know in the beginning. So, but this is also something that we said that we will kind of find out as we go. Boop! Okay, let's go. As you know, this is the living room, which we still absolutely love. It's a big space and it's a nice one. And this, my friends, is my office, and this will no longer be. Everything in here is going. We might sell that as well. We'll see if we can fit it in. And then in the TV room, which is now going to be our bedroom again. So this room, which we loved what we did with it, we're going to take everything into the other room instead. We're just going to have nothing but our bed here. Everything is going to be in the house, just in a different place. And my bike's going to go in the office. that small. I feel like it's like a decent sized room for just a bed. <laughs> Step one is empty this room, move the beds from over there into this room, and then step two is put all of this stuff in the old bedroom. Once again, it is our bedroom. Now we're deciding on these shelves. We're gonna take that one down and I'm just kind of wondering, should we have those two in the middle? But now that I see it like this, it looks quite weird. Yeah, so it took me about one second of clarity to realize that these are going down because it looks ridiculous. It, looks, it just does not do anything for this room. So it's better to just have this clear and we're gonna put up string lights when we bought them. Maybe a photo frame there. We're gonna figure out, but it's gonna be quite an empty room in the beginning. We're back in here. Remember this one we had in the bedroom? Well, we put it up again because we still had the, uh, the screw holes for it and it will be very perfect for what I need like to put my stuff away. It's gonna be great. We are getting there. It's crazy to see this room like this because when we moved in, the kitchen was here. <laughs> it's wild to think about what we've changed in this cabin. But it feels so nice to move all of my things out of here. What do you feel? I think this is gonna be really good. Like we said, we've been thinking about like how can we rebuild this? We wanted to knock down walls, but we also, like we asked a quote what it would cost and it's somewhere around 15 to 20,000 or like at least 200,000 Norwegian kroners, which is around 20,000 uh, US dollars. And you know, it's quite a lot when you don't really know what you want to do with this area. You don't know if you need a kid's room. You know, there were so many things we didn't know. So now it just hit me, this kind of layout hit me like two days ago, right? <laughs> and I'm like, this is what we need to do. We need to move my office in there. We need to go back in here and sleep. No furniture in there. And then this can be the TV area. Uh, if you've been around our channel for a while, you know that getting stuff up here is really difficult. So we have to buy from the mainland. If we want to buy from Ikea, for example, we have to buy it from the mainland. We need to ship it to Tromsø. Then we have to pay for the shipping ourselves to get it from Tromsø, from Ikea to the terminal where the boat goes from. Then we have to pay for the shipping from the boat up to Svalbard, and that is expensive. And we have no way of buying furniture that actually ships to Svalbard. I have so far not found a single company. They will only ship stuff that's under 20 kilos and under a certain size, but Ikea doesn't ship here at all. So we have to really make do with what we have. And what we're selling, we put on the Facebook page. 
So that's also really nice because you'll see people buy absolutely everything. I buy so much of our stuff from uh, our Facebook page. Like when we buy plants and things, it's usually on there. Enough ranting for today. Okay, I'm gonna clear up all of these things. I'm gonna move the things to the office and then we're gonna take the sofa back in and fix the bedroom and I'm gonna show you everything the way it is. Hello. Hello. I come you, with gifts. You come with gifts indeed. What do you think about the chaos? You know, then it's um... chaotic. It's chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I know. It's gonna be great. Where is the spoon? The spoon is here. Yes, here is the spoon. Here is the spoon. You have been through every single cabin renovation that we've done in here. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're making a great decision now? Uh, yes. Very good. You need your own office? Yes. Uh, I need to go to Tornad Bukka. <laughs> Christopher needs to come with me on a boat trip so we can fill up the refrigerator with uh, Arctic Char. But you keep him hostage here. <laughs> okay, I feel like this sidetrack. I from... do not approve. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you very much. You're now... a grown uh, woman and you can move the... The house myself. Yes, you can make your own office. Yes, you are strong <laughs> independent. Thank strong you. independent. Yes. That's great. Hey, Vendris! Hello! Come and say hey. Come and say hey. You are precious. Hi, Kuli. So this is what we've got now. We just moved this out. That one we put out for sale. So far we've gotten a hundred bucks for it. It's kind of a bidding situation on Facebook, the one we're selling on. So we'll see where that ends up. The TV is there, that's fine. We're keeping this for now. That's the sofa from before that we will also maybe sell, even though I love it. It was made for a small room. Now I think we want something, you know, potentially that kind of covers that area a bit more because this is very, much out and we kind of need something that's a bit higher but no stress on that now <laughs> are officially back in our old bedroom <laughs> i don't think well you know what when we bought like when we built the other part i kind of always had in mind that we probably will change our minds we might sleep here again we both were kind of planning that this would be made into a bedroom area anyway and now we just kind of felt like we don't want to spend the money or the time to change the walls when we don't really know how we actually want it to be. So now we're back in here. And what I love about this room is that it has a kind of boathousey cottage vibe. I don't know why. I just always really liked this room and it's super quiet. It's also has this view. The view from here is one thing I missed in the other room. So I'm actually happy to be back here. Uh, I'm gonna buy for the bed a full cover. So, cause we're thinking, I've always said, no, I don't want a, like a TV in the bedroom. And now I'm kind of like, I'm grown up. I can do whatever I want. I want a TV in the bedroom. <laughs> I think it could be so nice. Like when we have midnight sound like we have now, it affects such different kind of aspects of your life. So just that kind of, we never watch anything together. I'm not a big TV person, but I do love, you know, movies, especially, okay, during the winter, I'm a TV person. During the summer, not so much. But it would be nice to be able to kind of go in here, you know, actually make the room dark and watch a movie together. 
I think it could be nice. So I'm looking into putting on that wall the Samsung frame, which also is a photo frame during the day. It looks really cool. So I'm gonna look into that, I haven't decided. But what I'm gonna buy for the bed is a cover uh, to cover the whole one. What's it called? In Swedish, it's Sängöverdrag. Nej, fan heter det? Det heter Jag ska lägga på min Mitt Överkast Överkast Overthrow Maybe it's called a throw blanket is it? In Norwegian, it's Sengeteppe. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy one of those. And ta-da, this is my new office. I tried some different ways of putting the desk, but kind of realized that I think that is the best place to have it. So that's where it is for now. My bike goes perfectly in this corner. It kind of hides it from view, but it's also a nice little, you know, cycle corner. So I think that's gonna be perfect. I'm so excited about this room. And now to the TV room. We will probably change everything in here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I wanna put up barn doors, I've realized. That would be ideal. And then we're just gonna, you know, see what we need. Right now I put the TV in the bedroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the bedroom next time when I've done a lot more to it. Right now, there's just not a lot, of, lot to show. It's 10.53 in the evening and the sun is shining. <laughs> the endless midnight sun. It's beautiful, but it's a little bit tiring. I'm still cleaning and I'm still fixing around everything. I'm gonna mop a little bit now. As you do in the evening. Go out and look at the view. Can you believe that this is in the middle of the night? It's so bright. It's beautiful, isn't it?